Next we'll remove the retaining ring that's on top of the bearing. And it may be necessary to use your one inch pipe and press it down a little bit to loosen it up. Pull this out. And now we'll flip this part of the motor over to press out the entire shaft assembly. You can press directly onto the shaft to press out the whole assembly. Now from here you can see the bearing, the spacer, the lip seal, the thrust washers, and the thrust bearing. Now we can disassemble the shaft assembly. What you want to do is take your flat screwdriver and put it into one of these notches and twist it to remove that retaining ring. You can pull off your thrust washers and thrust bearing. We'll want to make sure when we reassemble it that they go back together in this order. Make sure that your work surface is clean so this bearing doesn't get contaminated with debris. Now, you won't want to drag the seal over this retaining ring groove, so we'll remove this small retaining ring from this side, being careful not to damage the bearing. And then we'll press these three parts off with the arbor press. We can press off these three components. From here, we can examine the shaft for any excessive wear or pitting in the seal area, and also any damage in the mechanical seal area as well. Now, we can check the bearing to make sure that it isn't tight or lumpy, possibly from getting chemical into it from a leaking mechanical seal. And we can also examine the hydraulic motor seal for any damage if the hydraulic lines had been installed backwards, it may blow this seal out. Here's an example of that. Now we can begin reassembly. We'll start by reassembling the shaft and seal assembly. The first thing you want to do is put this snap ring on. There's a flat side and a rounded side. You want to have the flat side facing up towards the shaft threads. Just push this straight on. You want to make sure that this work area is very clean so there's no contamination on any of these components. We'll put a thrust washer on, thrust bearing, the other thrust washer. This washer also has a rounded side and a flat side. You want to have the rounded side facing up towards the threads. Now we'll reinstall a new seal. Included in the 3430-0178 repair kit is a new seal, a new bearing, the two O-rings for the housing, the bypass screw gasket, the washer that sits on top of it, and the O-rings for the port adapters. We'll want to stretch out this seal before trying to install it. To do that, we'll put it on the end of the shaft this way. You never want to drag this seal over this retaining ring groove. That's why I put these components on first. Now that we've stretched it out a little bit, you want to make sure that it goes on this way and work it on carefully so that you don't fold over the inner edge of the seal. If that does happen, that seal is no good. Now we'll put this spacer back on and press the bearing back on. We'll put the bearing onto the press and then drop the shaft into it. You can press directly on it until you feel it bottom out on the snap ring. These parts should stay somewhat loose. If they're bound up, you'll want to 
back that bearing off just a little bit by pressing down on the threaded side. Next we'll reinstall this snap ring. And just push that on with the screwdriver. Being careful not to damage the bearing. And then you'll notice that that snap ring is up above the bearing just a little bit. We'll want to bottom that out. Now we can press the whole assembly back into the motor body. You'll notice that on the bottom of this there are two weep holes. If this oil seal is leaking, it'll leak oil out of these holes. Be careful when reinstalling this so that these components are straight when you drop it in. If they're sideways a little bit, when you press it in, they'll bind up in there. So get these as straight as you can by hand. Drop it straight in. And then we'll use that one inch piece of pipe to support the bearing. And you'll feel the seal press into the motor body. Next we'll reinstall the snap ring. You want to make sure that it's fully seated into there. And now we can bring this back to the vise to assemble the rest of the motor.